Welcome to the submodule on climate change adaptation and mitigation. In this presentation, I am going to briefly describe some of the products and services being trialled by the Copernicus Climate Change Service to help Europe's cities respond to climate change. So why is Copernicus needed in Europe's cities? The Copernicus Climate Change Service, or C3S, is operated by the ECMWF and aims to provide data and tools to help understand the impacts of climate change, inform policy and decision making, and ensure resilience to future climate change. European cities are already experiencing the effects of climate change across a number of sectors, in particular the infrastructure and health sectors. Therefore, a plan is essential for urban areas to grow and adapt accordingly. This diagram illustrates several impacts of climate change on cities, which include storms, flooding and heat waves. Climate change has the potential to alter weather patterns and the frequency of extreme events, which can have an intensified impact on built-up areas, only designed to withstand a limited amount of change. Prolonged or intense rainfall in urban areas can cause flash flooding, as urban materials and urban design limit how quickly rainwater can drain away. Flooding can damage infrastructure, property and disrupt transport as well as everyday life. The term urban heat island describes an urban area that is significantly warmer than its surrounding rural areas, largely due to the materials used in urban construction, which absorb and store more heat than natural surfaces. Higher energy use, greater heat generation and reduced ventilation also contribute to the heating effect. In turn, the urban heat island can also have a negative impact on air quality. A number of proof-of-concept studies have been initiated by the C3S to test and demonstrate potential climate products and services that could be developed and incorporated into a future operational service. One of these is an urban project focusing on climate change in European cities. The project will operate until the end of 2017 and aims to demonstrate a potential value-added service that could be developed to provide data and guidance to different sectors operating in urban areas, in particular the infrastructure and health sectors. The project aims to generate city-specific climate data and impact indicators, downscale to the urban scale. It aims to bridge the gap between climate data providers and urban developers and to deliver information in a format directly useful for urban planners, consultants, engineers and scientists as an input to local models and calculations. The project web portal is still in development but when complete will allow download, inspection and visualisation of project data. Climate datasets are available over Europe, but these are currently at low spatial resolution, suitable for regional scale analysis, but less informative for individual cities. Higher resolution datasets are required to represent urban areas and understand their impact on local weather and climate. This demonstrator project aims to downscale essential climate variables, or ECVs, and impact indicators to the urban scale. Useful ECV datasets include precipitation and temperature, wind speed and direction, background air quality, soil moisture and river discharge. This demonstrator project provides ECV data downscaled over cities, providing higher resolution datasets that are required to represent urban areas. Climate data and relevant local data are combined with climate scenarios and advanced models to generate ECVs as hourly as 1 by 1 kilometre grids for 5 to 10 year windows for past, present and future conditions. These downscaled ECVs will be validated with historical datasets. Statistical processing of ECVs can be used to generate city-specific urban impact indicators to show the impact of climate change on urban sectors. These indicators are tailored to meet requirements from modelers and end users operating in urban sectors. Urban impact indicators are used to show the impact of climate change on urban sectors and have been chosen based on their relevance to urban areas 
through workshops and interviews with stakeholders. These indicators include air pollution concentrations, exposure and health impacts, heat wave durations and heat related deaths, and the Tom Discomfort Index, which is the most commonly used bioclimatic index for urban climate studies. It describes the level of human discomfort due to changes in temperature and humidity. Indicators will be combined with climate scenarios and local data to create practical products for clients. The project web portal provides a platform for sharing the results of this proof of concept project. The information pages provide an overview of the project as well as the metadata and user support materials. The interactive data portal tool allows you to select, visualise and download the urban impact indicators from the pilot study sites. The data currently available on the project webpage are the outputs of the pilot studies. Three pilot studies were run to assess the usefulness of the project datasets on a local scale. Specific use cases were chosen for each city. The Bologna pilot study explores urban flooding, urban heat and urban air quality, which are particular problems in the city. The Stockholm pilot study specifically focuses on urban flooding. The Amsterdam-Rotterdam pilot study is used to validate the downscaled ECVs and impact indicators to demonstrate the scalability of the datasets. This demonstrator project could be extended in the future to cover additional European cities interested to access improved information about local climate and expected trends under changing climate. The built-up urban area of Bologna is vulnerable to both fluvial flooding and flash flooding after storms. Hourly gridded ECV data will be used to assess the historical, present and future risk of flash flooding in the city after storms. A meteorological model will be used to run historical and future climate scenarios, taking into account land use characteristics. A hydrological model will then be used to simulate discharge of the Ravone and Reno rivers and local runoff. Finally, urban impact indicators for heavy rainfall will be analysed in comparison to large infrastructure projects to evaluate any added impact that these may have on flooding risk. Extreme heat can present risks to human health, especially in cities where conditions can be emphasised by the urban heat island effect. Urban impact indicators will be derived to assess the impact of local climate change on the health sector, for example, heat wave, duration and the Tom Discomfort Index. C3S climate data will be used as an input to the microclimate Envimet model and used to assess how specific buildings, existing and planned, respond to heat waves and the heat island effect in the city. The Po Valley in Italy is heavily industrialised and densely populated. In winter, particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide concentrations are particularly high whilst in summer, ozone concentrations can often exceed recommended limits. The MATCH air quality model will be run with local emissions to obtain urban background air pollution levels. This study aims to assess the effectiveness of the multi-annual plan for air quality improvement, when climate change and long-range pollution are taken into account. This satellite image of northern Italy was taken in February 2005 and shows how polluted the Po Valley can get. In summary, it is important to assess the impacts of climate change on urban areas to ensure sustainability in the future. Existing climate data is available at a regional scale but is less suitable to smaller scale urban studies. This C3S proof of concept project demonstrates how ECVs can be downscaled to the city scale for five to ten year windows for past, present and future conditions. Modelling and statistical analysis are used to generate city-specific urban impact indicators delivered in an easily accessible format for use by modellers, engineers and urban planners. The project demonstrates a potential service that could be developed to bring climate experts and stakeholders together to discuss the challenges of climate change in urban areas. Thank you for watching.